Soviet citizens are free to criticize radical reformers and the communist leadership. This empire that Ronald Reagan once termed evil is experiencing some freedom. The people of Russia recently voted in their first direct elections, and people are able to say what is on their minds. And the Soviet economy appears to be getting worse. <laughs> sure, Soviets have grown accustomed to long lines during recent years, lines for gasoline, beer and vodka, and just about everything in great demand. But their rubles are now buying less and less, and fewer items are available. On this day in Moscow, consumers hoarded bottles of ketchup, a common commodity in the U.S., but a scarcity in the USSR. Soviet shoppers find grocery store freezers nearly empty and are often left to select less than desirable frozen dinners. The Bush administration for, but the New Hampshire voters are hearing few answers beyond the finger pointing. Iowa Senator Tom Harkin likes to visit struggling factories with his message. Part of the strategy in winning the nod here in New Hampshire is finding prime photo opportunity locations for press conferences. But the former senator from Massachusetts discovered very quickly that some ideal locations aren't all they're cracked up to be. Celebrating what he termed environmental day. <coughs> These are the faces of genocide. It's a jihad. Islam is the motivation behind it. A 10-year-old civil war in Sudan has pitted the military regime of the north against the Christians of the South. While Muslims in East Africa are preaching prosperity and self-worth and winning converts that way, there's another side to Islam, when Islam is carried to the extreme, a radical, ugly side, as is prevalent here in Southern Sudan. Tren Moss was the first American restaurant in Russia. It opened in 1989 and is co-owned by Trenton, New Jersey businessman Jeff Zeger. His advice to President Clinton, help American business help Russia. Maybe the thing is to do is to give small to medium-sized corporations low interest rate loans to stimulate them to come over here. This country does not need $24 billion. This country needs businessmen to come over here with money. So Russians are feeling real pain and hardships as their country moves forward toward a market economy. And time and Russian patience may be running out. Apathy may eventually turn to anger. Russian people are very, very patient, but when they get mad, they can break everything. If we start fighting, then we will fight to the death. Californians are searching for answers as to what might prevent future mayhem and destruction, like that witnessed in South Central Los Angeles last month. Almost all agree the solution is black empowerment. And many Californians say that empowerment can come only by improving educational opportunities in America's inner city schools. Although the official numbers won't be released until the end of June, supporters of the initiative say they have more than enough signatures to qualify for the November ballot. Well, I am happy for the opportunity to be able to uh, express my views to your audience, which I understand numbers about 20 million. We talked about the election. Do, do you expect violence? <laughs> At no time did I violate any trust that was placed in me by my constituents and that I have always acted as a member of Congress in the best of public interest. I consider myself an asset and I consider us a winning team and we will invite you to the White House in January for a press conference. I'd like to take this opportunity to express admiration 